During the recent lockdown, I've been finding it incredibly hard to stick to my one meal a day regime. At first, I thought it would be fairly easy, but clearly I was wrong. Now that I'm stuck at home all day, I find myself snacking, eating too much, and ultimately putting on weight. So I came up with a technique that really helps. But before I get to that, just a quick background. Regardless of the lockdown or not, if I eat three meals a day, I put on weight. I'm just not designed to have three meals a day. Sure, logically, I could just cut down the portion size of each individual meal, but I just don't find that very satisfying, and certainly not sustainable. Eating a lettuce leaf, half a tomato, and a handful of nuts for lunch just leaves me with a sense of longing. The very action of eating anything, even something small, opens up the floodgates, so to speak. Half a tomato quickly turns into a sandwich, a sandwich quickly turns into three sandwiches, and so on. I'm much better off just not eating anything. Basically, if I sit down to eat, I want to eat until I feel satisfied, and there's absolutely nothing I can do to curb that desire. So yeah, three meals a day just doesn't work for me. Prior to the lockdown, let's call that the normal times, I was quite happy eating only one to two meals a day. But even with two meals a day, I would often put on weight. So mostly, to maintain my weight, or lose weight, I would only eat once a day. And that was completely manageable. During the normal times, I would have to walk my children to school each day, and then walk to work straight after. Not only was I carrying my own weight, I was also carrying my children's school bags, as well as my work bag and computer. At work, as I'm a casual, I would work throughout the day without taking a break. Then I would walk back to school, pick up the kids, and then walk back home again. All in all, I was walking about 10 to 15 kilometers a day, depending on the route I took. During the normal times, not only was I getting lots of additional exercise, I was also put in a situation where I wasn't tempted by food. There was no food at work, and I simply didn't have the time to get any, even if I wanted to. By the time I got home, sure, I was hungry, but I could easily wait the extra hour or two before dinner. And because I was only eating one meal a day, I could eat as much as I like without feeling guilty and without putting on any extra weight. With three meals a day, I have to restrict myself in order to not gain weight. With one meal a day, I can eat to my heart's desire. There's certainly a different mindset there. But now that I'm home all the time, I'm constantly surrounded by food. Also, I'm no longer getting all that extra exercise. I have tried going for walks, but I find that fairly boring. I've come to the realization that I only enjoy walking when I have somewhere to go. If I'm walking just for the sake of walking, it's just not that interesting for me, and therefore not very sustainable. So what to do? Well, the other day, I came up with a simple plan that almost relies on punishment, but not really. If ever I'm tempted by food, for example, I go to the cupboard to see what snacks there are, I immediately get down and do 10 push-ups and drink a glass of water. That's usually enough to stop me looking through the cupboard. If for some reason I decide to have a snack, I go outside and do 50 more push-ups. If I continue eating, I continue doing 50 push-ups for each snack I have until I'm either exhausted or full. In reality, over the last couple of days, I've only had to do two sets of 50 push-ups. It's enough of a disincentive that I just don't want to snack anymore. And even if I do snack, at least I'm getting lots of extra exercise. I don't know exactly how sustainable this is, so I might wait a few weeks before I pass judgment. Anyway, that's my technique. 10 push-ups if I feel tempted to eat. 50 push-ups if I do eat. Simple.